So still at Galway then for the Castlegar Handicap Chase. This is a Class 3 Handicap and it's 0-120 to 120 and it's over 2 miles and 6 furlongs at the top. The top weight, the Thinker, winner last week for Martin Leedham. High Admiral for Paul Rhodes. Western Warmth, Darren Thompson. Loyal Ally for Leon Van Rensburg. Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry. Discover Aegis, Darren Thompson. Echo Bell, Alex Cherry. Storm Crow, Padre Hogan and Ice Pearls for Obi-Wan. So nine of them then. And this... And away they go. The rain stopped and the sun's out. Loyal Ally might be one of the first ones to show. As they make their way towards the first of 14 fences that they've got to take in this one. And Discover Aegis right over on the far side is just about the early leader from Ice Pills in the yellow jacket down on this near side between the two of them. Rab Corbett. That's the leading three, the rest of them pretty tightly grouped. See very often, isn't it? Stand around the paddock. Anyway, they're all over the first. I'm busy looking at the scenery. I'll turn it into stew. Anyway, it's the Discover Aegis who's two lengths clear at the moment from Rab Corbett over on the far side, second. Then Ice Pearls down this near side. He's in third place in the yellow jacket. Behind that one is High Admiral. Then three in a line. Echo Bell, the Thinker, and Storm Crow. With a loyal ally behind that one. And then finally, Western Walk. The leader was pretty untidy at that, fir at that third. And did well to get away with it. it was the second actually this is the third but they're all safely over the third so three fences negotiated then 11 more to take and discover Aegis is the leader with the maroon and the white sleeves for darren thompson right over on the far side rab corbett for alex cherry and those orange sleeves between the two of them ice pearls for obi-wan in the yellow as they dream over that big looking ditch and comes high admiral for paul rhodes in the Blue and the checkered sleeves with Padre Hogan Storm Crow on his outside in the yellow and black as they get over the fifth. And we've got Echo Bell for Alex Cherry, the second one of the orange sleeves, the second one for Darren Thompson. Chases that one, that's Western Warmth, then the Thinker. He went out last week for Martin Leader in the maroon with the yellow cap and Leon Van Rensburg's loyal ally, or loyal ally, is the back marker in the blue with a gold cap. So making their way down towards the next end and Discover Aegis. He's a good four lengths clear. Bowling along nicely in the lead. From Ice Pearls and Rab Corbett together as they take the sixth. A mistake there by a couple of them. Echo Bell and the Thinker both hit that one hard. I think to the next one they both jumped a little bit better. But it's Discover Aegis who is the leader. Rab Corbett was in wide on the track as they cut back in to be a part of the main group. With High Admiral second and with Ice Pearls in four in fourth. Those four, and then followed by Western Warp as they caught the straight. And the point and towards the next with Discover Aegis in the lead by three or four lengths. That's the winning post of the complete circuit of the track to go. Let's take a look at this paddock just part beyond here. It's got stands around it. You don't see that very often. Anyway, it's Discover Aegis in the lead from Rab Corbett as they get to the next time. A stake there by Ice Pearls. I've seen that one just shuffle into the chasing pack rather than the leading pack. And it's Discover Aegis who leads by three to Rab Corbett, who's now alone in second. Then High Admiral is third. Then Echo Bell is after that one. And High Admiral is trying to get a little bit closer to the second place horse as they get over the ninth but it's Discover Aegis as we lose them in the trees momentarily and it's Discover Aegis in the lead getting into the tenth from in second place Rab Corbett then comes High Admiral then Echo Bell recalls from that mistake Loyal Alley is now getting a little bit closer then comes Ice Pearls the thinker making a forward move around the outside then Western Warmth and now Storm Crow has been relegated to the back spot over the eleventh they go and there's a crashing fall there at the back Western Warmth Almost dive through the fence, but the stable mate to that one, Discover Aegis, is still the leader. 
Uh, Discover Age just gets over the top, and he nearly went that time, had a really bad mistake, and that's allowed High Admiral and now Echo Bell to come through the challenge. Suddenly they're bunching up front, Rab Corbett still there, Loyal Ali's trying to come through with a run, Ice Pearls trying to stick on, the Thinker looks like he's going to try and come up the inside, but now switches towards the outside, Storm Crow is also coming around the outside, but they've only got two more fences to take, and Discover Age has been in the lead all the way from Loyal Ali in second, Echo Bell is third, then High Admiral, the Thinker on the outside is getting much closer, then Rab Corbett and Storm Crow over the second last, and Discover Ages made another mistake, and that's allowed Echo Bell to take it up over the final fence they go, and it's Echo Bell who's in the lead from Discover Ages, Loyal Ali, the Thinker is trying to run, there's still two furlongs to go, and no more fences to take, and it's Echo Bell, Echo Bell two to three clear from Loyal Ali in second, Discover Ages on the inside, still there third, the Thinker in fourth, Storm Crow trying to run on, but it's Echo Bell in the lead, there's still a furlong to go, Echo Bell, Loyal Ali getting closer, Echo Bell needs the line to come, still seems to be going reasonably well, Loyal Ali's not closing the gap that much, but he's getting a little bit closer, it's Echo Bell still in the lead, Echo Bell's going to hold on, up towards the line, Echo Bell wins it, Loyal Ali second, then Discover Rangers, then the Thinker, then come Rub Corbett and Storm Crow, High Admiral, and finally Ice Pearls, and Echo Bell, despite a bad mistake, now the back straight really benefited from Discover Aegis making the mistakes at a more crucial time I think Loyal Alley looked a little bit one paced up that home straight and couldn't get to Echo Bell strange distance that though two miles six furlongs you'd think over three miles maybe Loyal Alley would manage to reel in Echo Bell but who knows we'll no doubt find out another week so the Castle Guard handicap Chase goes to Alex Cherry and Echo Bell Loyal Alley and Leon Van Rensburg were second Discover Aegis Darren Thompson third The Thinker Martin Lidham was fourth and Rab Corbett for Alex Cherry was fifth.